The first step of the building process is to make sure that the foundation is square and level. Once this is determined, measure and mark the foundation for the sill plate location. The sill plate is the 2x8 pressure treated lumber included with your kit. Use a chalk line to mark the location evenly down the foundation perimeter. The next step is to apply the sill sealer. This is the blue or red rolls of foam material included with your home kit. The sill sealer is used as a buffer between the concrete and the sill plate. It can be applied either directly to the bottom of the sill plate prior to installation or on the foundation perimeter onto which the sill plate will be installed. Building code requires using pressure treated lumber which resists rotting and insect infestation commonly caused by a close proximity to soil and moisture. Refer to the installation guide for guidelines on working with and handling pressure treated lumber. Next, measure and cut the sill sealer and sill plate materials according to the foundation length and width. If the anchor bolts are already set and cemented into the foundation, it will be necessary to mark and drill holes in the sill plate to fit over them. Measure in from the foundation edges to find the bolt locations and transpose the locations onto the sill plate. Drill the holes and ream them just a bit larger than the anchor bolts to make installation easier. In cases where a precast foundation is being used, which does not require the anchor bolts to be set ahead of time, the sill plates are just set in place. Once all the sill plates are set, they are toenailed together at the corners and the anchor bolts are then put in. The anchor bolts are only put in so they are slightly snug. Once the floor joists are in place, they are then cinched down tight. The next section will cover the installation of the floor system. If you're building on a slab and do not have a floor system, skip ahead to section 4, which discusses the installation of the wall system.